So what are they claiming when they're claiming to be, claiming to be, not that they are, your so-called governor, your so-called mayor, your so-called president, your so-called senator, your so-called congressman, your so-called representative, they're claiming trust position or foe for position over your estate. So why is it not that we have not been studying trust? When all of the political operations and economics is rooted in trust. We're not directed to it. We haven't been directed right. to it. We have not been, yeah. And so, and because most people are not aware to the refinements of what trust is and everything, rather than start studying, they start, well, what does that mean? And what, is, what happens if you tell them? They still don't get it because it's not a part of them. True. Now, you see why I tell people get Weiss's handbook on trust law so they don't put their responsibility on you? Then after they study, now you can talk. It's sort of like, you know, like, you know, it's like trying to tell people, like if, if, if someone says to you, you know, you need to know the Bible, right? And they quote a couple of statements or parables from the Bible, but they don't teach you about Septuaginta, the Book of the Dead, the Vetus, and the origins of that book, etc. Some people will reject it and some people will have an opinion when actually you should be telling them the root of it all and tell them to read it for themselves. And let's come back and have a conversation after you study. Now you're qualified. Well, I would, you, you mentioned about books, but um, I would just recommend to those that may not have a lot of resources at this time to purchase books. But if you have nine ninety nine or 10 notes a month that you would subscribe to Scribd, which I'll put in. Let's Scribd. put it this way. Scribd.com, because almost all those books are on here. Yeah. All the trust laws. But you want hardcover. You and want it, but if you can't get it, yes. in the meantime, I'm saying, I'm, I know yes. it's better to have I got books everywhere, but I'm saying if you can't do that, if you don't have it, then at least for 10 notes, you can look at every book you want. Not just that. Until you get but, it. but look this, because remember that can be knocked out. And as people learn, they're going to right. knock it out. Of course. They're going but to censor. Right now, it's still there. So for years, we tell people to restore your library. Why do you think the priesthood burned the books? Because they exactly. But the, now, we're talking about the finance that people have, right? Mm -hmm. So we, this is what we say to people. Instead of buying Air Jordans, buy Skechers or buy set of, uh, ordinary set of, uh, uh, pair of Nikes or a nice pair of sneaks that, that's less brand and spend the, the rest of the finance restoring your library for yourself and your children and your family members. And when you buy these books just the way, the same way when people buy your, you know, uh, like this book, like one thing I did, right? So when you book this up, I bought two or three, and share them. They need to be buying them now. Same true. thing. You know, so when you, if you run into Weiss's, don't get one book. Get two or three and share them with your family because you need people around you to be aware so you can do what? Mm -hmm. Chopping swords. Right. So you can, because you can, you can spark information. You can spark conversation. These things should be on your coffee table. <laughs> now, and then look at this. Uh, when you look at um, a lot of your so-called wealthy Europeans that got all these different businesses, even though most of them were faces, they were signed. Because most of these big time tech businesses are really operations of the CIA. It, it, um, however, you notice how a lot of these hybrids, they have um, what they call old money in their family. Mm -hmm. You know why they have old money? No. Guarantee you the families have trust. Oh, Their yeah. stuff is in trust. They, 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 <laughs> and so what happens, What like as an example, all right, so here you are, right? And and, and humorously, I, I know of a few instruments. It's not necessarily for the people, but you already know what I'm talking about, where people ap uh, approached you, some men approached you, and uh, um, implied dating you or mating with you. Uh, now, this is what they do. And this is happens particularly in, in the Western Hemisphere. Marriage is used for for estate stealing, not so much for love, right? People who really know how things work. People who really understand how to preserve legacy for your family don't just go out marrying people. 
That's why uh, it, it, it may seem cruel to some of our people who really don't understand it. It's why you see a lot of hybrid families, they will do prenuptials mm -hmm. to okay. because they have to protect the estate for the family. Mm -hmm. People take it personal, but marriages are business relationships. Should be. No. That's what they were. She got, that's what they're let's look at the history. That's the intent. No, that's let's look at the history. Intent. No, let's look at the history. Okay. See, now remember what we said. What is it hard for people to do? To start looking or researching things for what they are as opposed to what you like them to be or what you've been told. You can do that, but know what things actually are. Right? Mm -hmm. So, in the ancient Canaanite Moabite world where these matrimony rituals have their root in Amalek, Egypt, etc. That's why marriages, or what you call matrimony, truthfully, was always prearranged. Meaning that, like, say, for instance, like you're my daughter, right? And someone's checking you out, right? It ain't no such thing as y'all going out dating. Because there ain't no such thing as him come taking you from the family. So he got to bring a dowry. That's that's secondary. First, we're going to talk to his parents and we're going to look, do a chart on him. And your parents are going to do a chart on their parents are going to do a chart. In vice versa. Yeah. Vice versa. First, we're going to make sure that at least two of your planets harmonize. Because if they don't, it's a violation of divine law. And we already know that the that the divine nature of your bond will not work. In other words, you don't put oil and water together and shake it up because they will separate. Right. This is where you have you, your matrimony, your matrimony rules in nature according to earth and air, fire and water type thing. So you don't you don't take air with earth. You take air and fire. You take earth and water. Those are your first rules. Then you look at the Trinity. The Trinity is your sun, your moon, and your ascendant. Two of them planets minimally must be harmonic. Because you already know if you put them together, you know, after the, you know, I'd say, you know, like the earth, earth, wind, and fire song, mm -hmm. after the love is gone, oh, type, yeah. type thing. That means after the honeymoon is short honeymoons, and then they start arguing with each other because they're what? The nature of them are clashing. Don't have to have harmonious. Exactly. Yeah. They don't know that they're violating nature because we're following carnal rules instead of divine rules. But if true religion is not taught, people are doing what? They're being sold to each other and don't know that that's what the system is. They're thinking because they're attracted to each other. And oh man, this is oh you check I was checking you out. The keisters is really key stored, <laughs> you know, and all this stuff. And you said, man, I like your sneaks and you're cool. And you know, we then you start doing stuff. It's not good. Uh, and this is what we've been trained to do, which is why most so-called matrimony, that's why they don't teach matrimony, they don't teach marriage, because marriage is also marriage. Mars. Mars I nine rage. rage. Most marriages don't work. They're actually a spell cast by the priesthood. The proper is matrimony. But matri puts the woman back into the trinity. Right. Matri is mother. See, so people think that matrimony and marriage is the same thing. No, the rituals look the same. But marriage is more of a commercial commodity transaction for birthright or estate stealing whereas matrimony is in harmony with nature and divine law for true bond oh, and of course now you're getting into the cosmology or real culture real religious culture and of course that refinement is not all uh, is generally not taught and so now this is that gray area is where the preach where the priesthood have injected themselves. That's why when people do any research, they start finding out that um, that the state owns them and that they're actually list, listed as ships passing in the night 
and that the marriage certificate belongs to the state and they're the first order. That's why when you get divorced and stuff, they come in and start stealing the estate first. They get first paid. Hmm. And, and people see it every day, but it never dawns on them that that's not proper. This is what you've been trained to. In other words, you've been sold back to each other with the state being the first party in the trinity of the union. And the state owns your estate, your ward. And so when you come together, the barristers come in and get their cut. That's why most people, that's why a lot of times you'll see in, uh, in, in, in um, Western world jurisprudence, they'll say it's cheaper to keep her type mm -hmm. thing and vice versa. Now, keep in mind, because it's corrupted in the first place, the estate, which should be transferred through the woman, is not often protected. You see, so then they'll pit them against each other to protect her when actually they're there as an appendage to steal. And because they own the contract of sale, the state must be satisfied first. That's why on long term, you will see among our people, generations after generations, they get poorer and poorer. And the hybrid Europeans, even if they mess up, they always got a home to go back to. Because their stuff is in trust. The family protects the estate and it builds over generations where ours are always lost to the state under taxation. Being persons called Negro, Black, or Colored are wards of the state under the Christian Black Codes. And they themselves are supporting the church, which actually issues the codes. And then they deliver their, uh, their offspring to, the, to the, the doctors of the dark witchery um, in the hospice who are declared them dead. And so they declare the body and put a bond on them, which is the birth certificate. And then that's put on the stock market with the lodges and sold over and over again. And so therefore we don't build up wealth, do we? No. You bust your butt, right? Thinking you're buying property, you're sharecropping, they give you a deed you didn't know that deeds didn't exist here before 1913 because no one tells you. And then the priesthood is, is, is on the corners, every other corner. Their military outposts, their job is to pet you like a, like, a, like a lamb, to keep you pacified, out the pastor. And then the state comes in and shears you. You grow, you know, you shivering. I can't wait for Jesus to come. Give me some sandwiches one of these days. And the Pastor got on cashmere coat. <laughs> the mayor got cashmere coat. Council people got cashmere coat. And you're paying tithing, which is a tax, a Roman tax. I thought that that's why they won't tell people that tithe means 10% Roman tax. It ain't got nothing to do with Moses and Jesus and nothing. It comes from Rome. Pope Sylvester II, do the research, y'all. So again, for those of you who are listening, look up Alonges and analyze it. Study land and analyze it. Study hereditaments and analyze it because it all goes together. Under land. And look how it relates to you in manners that you never thought of. And this is, a, again, why they take you from the land and put you under the Holy See and take you out to sea. And thus, the Admiralty Law. And I'm going to tell you this, too. And like I said to you, and I said to people, and we, we, we've we been talking for the last four years, and I said, I'm not defending Trump, so don't, don't confuse that. But uh, Donald Trump is dealing with restoration of what is called common law or, or uh, land jurisdiction. And um, others are dealing with admiralty law maintenance, which is what's been in operation. And so, again, as we've talked about... Um, land in admiralty hold on i want to make a point here to you uh so the concept that people have that land is uh simply the aggregate soil um those who know what it is dealing with hereditaments and your hereditaments are corporal and incorporal inheritances that means both customs furniture jewelry uh, the minerals that are in the soil, the stream that runs past your house, the fish that's in the 
in that water. Um, the, uh, the rocks, the gold, the silver, all uh, the jewels that are beneath your feet in the soil, etc. And your right of inheritance in relationship to that is land. Uh, concepts of what land is limited to soil, the average good soil, is both limited, neutered, heavily edited, and an improper concept. So to claim the land, this is again why, um, you know, even when you did that caricature uh, uh, of oh, the brother. Of the guy putting the flag on mm -hmm. the little piece of ground. But it, but it really, it, it was kind of humorous, but what it does is symbolizes the Moors that's being confused, but they're becoming conscious and they at least they have sense enough to start staking their vexillum back on the land bringing them back into the land jurisdiction. So now we're going back to the issues where we talk about understanding land jurisdiction, sea jurisdiction, air jurisdiction, all these things they must, they must know. I'll pop it up so they can. Do you, do you, do you understand? I'll pop it up so they can see it. Yeah. It's right here. And I thought that was quite there, humorous. So he's got his little flag mm -hmm. on the, mm -hmm. on the, on his little piece of ground. And even while they're confused and haven't learned Yet, what trust law is, is wise enough to now make your claim. Right, and that's what we, that's what we want. And this is really what we're trying to get people to, see, this is what we're trying to do. To at least get the people started in the things that they need to know, knowing that it's going to take time. They didn't lose it overnight, and they're not going to regain it overnight. However, they must become competent and at least make a claim, you see? Right. Um, but they must be made responsible and they must start actually studying. They cannot do it with emotion. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? And they can't just find out about the marriage certificate. And you notice how they talk about the birth certificate, but they don't talk about the marriage certificate? Yeah. See, they don't recognize. You know, it's sort of like a lot of people talking about the birth certificate because after um, when the Pope Francis did the motu proprio in 2013 and people discovered that the United States is bankrupt again. <laughs> Understand that it was dissolved when it was bankrupt the first time. That all you have is a continuation of rogue operations because the, the true heirs are continued to be unconscious. Well, isn't the and aren't inactive? The, aren't the um, provisions of the birth certificate covered in the marriage certificate? Because it calls, covers, takes the eggs and everything. Now, remember, all right, now look at the fractionalization. They fractionalized it until there was no value, which is why Roosevelt then used the birth certificate to restart the fraud. Okay. It's not a new thing. It's a continuation of what Wilson did. And Wilson is a continuation of what was done with the Congress after Lincoln. This is why you see each one of those constructs are called the United States, but each one of them are spelled different. Because they know that the people don't pay attention to details. Re remember, re you know, like when we tell people, when you sell, send people to flash drive and we always tell people to read civil orders mm -hmm. to the Pope. And we remind them to pay attention to the different spellings of the United States. When you people are talking, they say the United States, the United States, the United States. And don't pay attention to the structure and the spelling. All of these are different corporate entities. Still tied to the Pope, meaning that when one shell died, they made a new shell. And what the Pope Francis told them, no more shells. That's why they had the meeting and he promised to stop operating the doctrine of discovery. Because remember, the people are out here marching and praying, talking about racism and prejudice. But the priesthood all know that it's really the doctrine of discovery. So they're totally incompetent, arguing the wrong, they're going in circles. And the, the so-called black leaders paid to keep them going in circles. The world don't want to trade them no more, so they now they got to fix this thing or fall altogether. Plus, um, different um, networks of people in the world is now starting to go after them. Do you understand? So... You know, it's sort of like it's kind of easy for the robber to rob the bank. And just because he got out the building don't mean he's going to get away with it. 
This is what's happening to them. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the ones who were robbed, the, the Aboriginal people, half of them don't know they've been robbed. They just think they're being mistreated. And they're trying to be club members of the ones who robbed them. This is called U.S. citizen argument, civil rights, Negro citizen, 14th Amendment, that they've been desperately trying to be that they could never be. They don't recognize that they're the victim of birthright robbery. And they're trying to be a part of the club that robbed them. Do you, and the club that robbed them is bankrupt. And they're looking to be, participate and to solidify a claim in the fraud, i.e., become a holder in due course of the birth certificate bonds. Them bonds are dead. However, if they can get you to seek a value in them, then you have no right of claim in the future, do you? If something is fraud and you don't declare the fraud, but instead seek to participate in it for a benefit, you've just sanctioned it, haven't you? And that's called consent, isn't it? That's why you see them keep promoting among the people capture the birth certificate. What it actually does, it seems like the people won't get a benefit. How are you going to get a benefit of an estate that is bankrupt? There's nothing to distribute. Right. And the instrumentality that they created for its distribution, the bonds are